600-pound Tendi Slayer, out for a daytime stroll, being pushed around by mummy in my steel-reinforced baby buggy. Suddenly get a craving for my favorite snack. Start rocking the buggy back and forth, chanting, Chicky, chick, chicky, chick. Here, Mummy let out a resigned sigh. She pushes me into the road, into oncoming traffic. A puny car is no match for the weight of my 600 pound frame. It smashes into me, causing the car to become a mangled mess, but leaving me unscathed. Mummy gets arrested for attempted murder. They give me tendies at the police station. No, honey, musty! Re! I grab a police officer and force-feed him dry tendies. No, dippy sauce! I won't obey the laws! He chokes to death. I get arrested too. That face when me and mommy share a cell. And bitch should have known she'll never get rid of me. Be me. Mommy's 300-pound baby boy. Wake up at 2 p.m. after a night of intense hentai viewing. Get hungry, so I waddle out of my room to find a mummy. The dried cum pulls my big boy belly hair. Spit into my hand and rub my belly for quick clean. See mummy watching TV. Tell her I want Tyson tendies. Sorry, Anon, we're all out. We have bagel bites. Bagel bites. Not on my watch. I start breathing heavily because of this trauma. Find mummy's purse and rub it on my belly. Chuck it at that whore's head. Go to the store and get your baby boy Tyson tendies. Mummy lets out a tear that says she was in the wrong. She gets in the car and leaves. I grab the TV remote and put it in my butt crack. Start rolling on the floor. Get tired and nap on the living room floor. Wake up to the smell of tendies. Take remote out of my undies and put it on the couch. Crawl to the kitchen. Mummy is making my tendies. The excitement made me gassy. Let out a long, liquidy brap. Mummy starts to tear up again, proud of her 27-year-old baby boy. When I grow up, I want to be dependent on my dear mummy. I saved up all my good boy points, but now I feel I've got no voice. Mummy's friend, whose skin is black, denies me tendies. He says I'm fat, but I've been good. I took nappies. For good boy points, I make mummy happy. But mummy's whipped to fucking Jerome. It emboldens her. He challenges my throne. My good boy points I'll have to risk. This lack of tendies shall not persist. I'll show him and I'll show them all. I smeared my shit upon the wall. And from my throat I'll scream and shout until I end this tendy drought. Tendies are my heart's desire. They're yummy fuel for my fire. Mummy cries and sobs and wails, but tears aren't tendies. My rage prevails. Fuck off, Jerome, get off my mummy. I smear my shit upon her tummy. With one last look, the black man runs. I shriek with glee and my wee-wee comes. I've earned my tendies fair and square, but I deserve a sauce to pair. I turn to mummy who's smeared with shit. Tendies now or I won't quit. With one last sigh, she goes downstairs and lifts me to my booster chair. I'll still kick and scream and shout until there's tendies in my mouth. It took so long, but now they're ready. Mummy serves my well-earned tendies. The first bite, it brings me glee. Reminds me of when I was 30. Be me. Good boy. Bitch mommy died 10 years ago. Bones lying in the corner of my room. I have done unspeakable things to that corpse. No more tendies. No more honey mussy. No more dewy. No more internet. Have to hack neighbor's crappy internet in order to watch anime. My once portly frame is now only a meager 500 pounds, literally just skin and bones. Refuse to become a wage cuck, actually go outside and ask for good boy points. People treat me, a young 40 year old baby boy, like an inferior. Give up, go to neighbor's internet, find a resurrection spell, draw magic circle, complete with drawings of tendies, put bitch mommy's bones into circle. Say magic chant. My majestic man boobs flop around as I wave my arms up and down in front of the circle. Demons fly around. Flesh starts to grow on bitch mummy. After everything settles, mummy is asleep in the circle. I wake her up. Mummy, mummy, give me chicken dinnies. Mummy's eyes open. They are red. Demon mummy screeches loud, but not loud enough. 
You want a contest, mummy? I let out an autistic re to end all autistic rees. Demon mommy cowers before my good boy might. Put her on a leash, force her to make tendies for the rest of our lives. My face when. Tendy Tuesday. Sitting at dinner table with fork and knife, banging them on the table, chanting, Tendy Tuesday, Tendy Tuesday. Mommy walks into the house. Anon, I'm so sorry, I forgot to pick up your tendies after my third job tonight. Maybe you can have something else instead? Just this once? Stop chanting slash banging utensils on the table. Fall silent. Get up. Begin to chant, You will learn that very soon. Lack of tendies are your doom. Start to march towards Mommy, bobbing my head up and down, chanting all the while. Mommy's eyes widen in horror and she flees. Chase her around the house, chanting. Finally corner her, grab her by the hair. No one on, please, she cries. Begin to twirl her around the room by her hair. Let go. Mommy slams into the wall and slumps down. Walk back to table and sit down, waiting for food. Several hours go by. A vomit from hunger before going upstairs for bed. Wake up next morning. Mommy is still on the floor. <laughs> Baby. Mummy's chunky 550 pound miracle. Wake up at 5 p.m. Roll over in my playpen. Something is missing. My waifu pillow is gone. That bitch has kidnapped her. No reply. Roll out of the pen, but too fat to stand. Crawl along the floor. Poo poo and pee pee bottles fall and spill in my wake. My soiled My Little Pony onesie becoming a Jackson Pollock canvas of poo and pee. Roll down the stairs and see Mummy in the kitchen. What have you done with her whore? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, sweetie. My waifu, where is she? Your pillow thing. I took it to the laundromat. It was all gross and crusty. My waifu pillow I shall find. Then you shall eat tendies from my behind. Pull myself onto my legs for the first time in weeks. Can feel my knees buckling under the weight of my ample frame. I strap on my Naruto headband, grab my Minecraft sword, and waddle out the door on my chivalrous quest. People gag as I pass them on the street. Others flee in terror at the sight of me lumbering down the street trailing poo behind me. Get to the laundromat. Release her from her soapy prison! Laundry lady looks shocked. Uh, excuse me? Why, waifu, you odorous crone? I am to believe that she is housed within one of these spinning death traps. Uh, oh, you're Mrs. Anon's child. Your mother's laundry is over here. I see my love being drowned in a vortex of water and suds. Hurry! She's dying, you malodorous fiend! How can you let an innocent flower wilt and die this way? I use all my tarred strength to rip the machine door from its hinges. Water floods the room as I stand triumphant, sword held high and waifu in hand. Make my way home expecting tendies for the returning hero. Instead, I see the blue and red flashing lights of the law. They tackle me to the ground, the stench causing them to vomit all over me. This is how America treats its heroes. They separate me from my love and throw me in the back of the car. I can see them dragging her away as my eyes fill with tears. Never see her again. Mimi, peacefully eating tendies. Stepchad comes in, says mummy cries and to get a job or get out. Try the standard tactic of throwing my piss bottles and reeing. It wasn't effective. He comes behind me and uses both of his hands to catch my good boy neck. His fingers touch my greasy beard. He hisses with pain and retracts them as mountain dew dust burns his fingertips. Threatens me that he will take my tendies. I laugh and waves of fat travel around the globe of my body. He takes my tendies and I stop laughing. That feeling when no tendies. Lost all my tendies and good boy points in the crash. Decide to earn one billion good boy points. Buckle down and start working hard. Clean the piss, shit, and cum jugs out of my room. Earned 100 good boy points. Step outside for the first time in years and go to the barber. Earn 10 good boy points. Get a shave and a haircut. Earned 50 good boy points each. Enroll back in college. 100 points. Keep racking up points for years. Lose weight. Get fit. 
100,000 points. Get a GF, 10,000 points. Graduate medical school, 100,000 points. Get married and buy a house, 1 million points. Mummy awards points for grandkids, so I get my girlfriend pregnant a few times as well. Decide to see them through college for bonus points. Fast forward, kids come home for Christmas from unis. I'm getting close to my goal of 1 billion good boy points. My sons are happy to see me. My daughter is saying some shit about how stressful college life is. I'm having a hard time at college, Dad. It's so competitive. Well, honey, I'm sure you'll make it. You just have to be yourself. I have complete faith in you. I've been keeping close count of good boy points. Ten points for giving fatherly advice means I've reached my goal. Oh, Daddy, I'm so glad I have you here to keep me grounded. I don't know what I'd do without you. Honey, I love you too. Believe me, life is... A huge smile creeps upon my lips. You've been a good boy for mummy! Hook my daughter in the face, shit on the dinner table, ruin the Christmas dinner. My family looks on in horror. Sprint out of the house all the way down to mommy's retirement home. Kick the door down, shake her hand and smear it with shit. You've been a good boy, mummy. Where's my tendies? She stares at me with dead eyes, a single drop in her left one. That was four years ago. I've been living off my good boy points since.